Here is the Orange Pie one. I just got it, I just opened it, and uh, I didn't realize this when I, when I ordered it, and I should have, it's, it's my fault for not realizing this. I wanna get that out of the way. Uh, I should have realized it. Um, but unlike most ARM devices out there that you can buy, such as the Raspberry Pi, uh, this does not power off of micro USB. It has a little micro USB plug here, but that's for OTG uh, on the go uh, plug, much like your cell phone, which is nice to have. But to power it, you need some sort of unique five volt power supply. Now I've got a couple of five volt power supplies here, but none of them fit in there. Um, and the reason I bought this was because it was, you know, 10 or 15 bucks, probably about 10 bucks, uh, cheaper, uh, it was 15 bucks without the case. But with the case and stuff, it was $10 cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. Um, but once you add in the power supply, it's pretty much the same price. Now my Raspberry Pi is an old one, uh, but even there, once you add $10 to this, and you have the cost of even a new Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi has more functionality. It's not only has HDMI, it'll have RCA output, even though the newer ones use the eighth inch plugs here. Uh, the newer Raspberry Pis have more USB ports. Uh, they have uh, the audio output, where here it has the audio and video just through the HDMI, which is fine if that's all you need, uh, and one USB. So it was great getting the price down, but that price goes right back up once you add in a power supply. So I can't speak much on how this performs since I can't get it running, since I don't have a power supply for it. Again, I wouldn't have ordered it if I had realized that. And then again, even if you order a power supply for it, if something goes wrong with that power supply, now you gotta order another one where with the micro USB power supply, you, uh, even though there's better ones to use than others, um, you have a bunch of them laying around. You always have some laying around. I usually have my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have two of them hooked up to different TVs and I power them right off the USB port on the TV, which is great. This, this, Again, maybe it's a great device once you get it up and running, but for me, once you add in that extra cost, the Raspberry Pi, even this older model, uh, is more useful to me because of um, the extra functionality, and it would be the same price once you add in that power supply, or at least within a couple of dollars. So that's my review on the Orange Pi. It just, for me, not worth it mainly do, only do at this point because I can't test anything other than that, is the way it's powered. Who knows if years from now I'll be able to get a power supply that plugs into that, where with the micro USB, even if they phase out, it's gonna be a long time before micro USB is phased out. This, it's like, I don't know. Anyway, that's my review. Thanks for watching.